a well-regulated militia be necessary for the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and to bear arms shall not be infringed what is happening down here has someone been working on the abandoned range build I don't understand this at all Welcome to Show Me Firearms, and yes guys, as you saw on that intro, there has been activity happening on the range build. Pfft, mind blown, I know, right? Because last time we talked about the new range build, I think it was back in January, basically I was saying it wasn't going to happen, the new range build wasn't going to happen because of some issue with the property line and whatnot. Well, pretty soon after I made that video, some surveyors came out and found where the property line is and they placed some markers out here so we can tell exactly where it is. I didn't call in the surveyors, it wasn't my thing, that was, other people did that, but the point is, is that surveyors came out and they found where the property line is and it turns out I was right. The range build is on my property, all except for this one little corner right here. But all of this over here is all mine, exactly as I knew it was. So guess what guys, that means the new range build is back on, <laughs> I know. Here I was telling you that it's off, it's not going to happen. but. Turns out we can make it happen. So, I have been working on it off camera, as you saw. Let's go ahead and take a look at that a little more in depth. So, if you recall from previous videos, that big pile right there, well, that big old dead tree used to stand on top of that. So, I knocked that dead tree down and just dumped it over there for the time being have the saw out here today so we can cut that up and get it out of here and I've been working on this side of that little creek there it's kind of hard to tell on camera but I made this hillside here into a nice gradual slope so that when we are up that way shooting down here into the little bullet trap we just have a nice gradual incline so we can see all of our targets that are placed on the ground so that's happened since you guys last saw this so it's coming together i think today's objective is going to be to get that old stump out of there as well as i can it's all rotten and uh shouldn't be too much of a problem to get that out so we're going to work on that today and then also i want to get the old dead log cut up and out of here as well just try to get all the junk out of here get it nice and cleaned up because once that's done the next step is to bring in some other logs and the plan is is to build those up along this wall that wall and then over here as well so that way we have, basically we're gonna have logs come all the way up from ground level, all the way, hopefully past ground level here. So that way the kind of the dirt sides here, all that dirt will be held back so it doesn't wash into our area where we're gonna place our targets. And then we're gonna bring all of this dirt that I dug out last fall, we're gonna bring that in a little closer so that we have a nice, big, tall backstop for our little shooting range down here. So, that's the plan for today. Let's go ahead and make it happen. Well, that was actually way easier than I thought. 
I mean, this should be a tree stump right here. Instead, it's just all dirt, some rotten piece of the wood. Pretty easy, actually. Didn't take me long at all to chop all that loose with the, uh, the pickaxe there. So this is gonna be way easier than I thought. Um, now I just need to get the shovel, scoop all this out of here, and then uh, I think we'll go on to getting that log cut up. Okay, got a lot more done off camera. Let's take a look. All right, finally, we got rid of that big old dead tree. That looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Oh, that old tree, it was just, I'm telling you, it was in the way. That was such a thorn in my side. I'm so glad that it's finally gone and out of here and we have a nice level spot in its place. So. The plan is, turn you guys around here, we'll take a look. Where I'm standing right now, this is, we are right on top of the property line right here. Like I said earlier, this corner uh, is not on my property. So my plan is, the property line is a big old dead tree right there. Property line runs basically right through the middle of that tree. So use that tree as a reference. So the line comes down here, over this way, and then back up to that little white marker right there. So the plan is, is to, like I was talking about earlier, kind of build up like a little log retaining wall right here, right on the line. And then uh, the side that is not on my property then I'll take some of this dirt, that dirt, whatever, and backfill that in. So it is restored to its original condition. But that was why I had to get rid of that dead tree because that's where my, my retaining wall is gonna go. So that had to be removed. We did that. So that is a huge step in this process. Now, we've still got that sandstone ledge right there that's a little bit of a problem ideally I would like to remove the sandstone because it's in the way um, not too sure how to do that just yet um, I don't want to spend the money to go out and rent like a jackhammer or something um, I'm basically trying to build this range for basically zero money um, I, ideally I like it to cost nothing so Renting equipment is out of the question. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to try to see. I don't know. I'm on a tangent right now. But if you guys have any ideas how to get rid of that sandstone right there, let me know in the comments below. I've tried uh, whacking at it with like a pickaxe, sledgehammer, just trying to break it up. Uh, that ledge right there is pretty solid. It doesn't want anything to do with it. So, if you guys have any ideas how to get rid of sandstone like this for zero money at all, let me know in the comments below. So, that will be a problem for another day. Um, my other objective for today was to address those dead logs right there, which used to occupy that position. So, I think the next step is to get the saw fired up and get the cutting. I know you guys are thinking, Matt, why did you not cut those logs up smaller? They'd be 
way easier to move if they were just a little bit smaller. I would say to you, yeah, you're right. They would be easier to move if they were smaller. So, I really don't want to fire the saw again. It'd be way easier if I could just, whoa, where those logs go? What the heck just happened? Here, we better go investigate this. Th this is weird, guys. Those logs just up and disappeared. Here, let's, we gotta check this out. Where'd, where the heck these logs go? What is going on here? This is just weird. Oh, well, there they are. The logs are right there. Huh, I wonder how that happened. Weird. No, <laughs> all, serious, all, all seriousness, guys. I had an idea for these logs here. The reason why I left them a little bit longer like that is because I was thinking, once we get closer to completion with this, this could actually be kind of useful along the back side of our berm here to maybe help keep some of that dirt in place, try to cut down on the erosion. So I really don't want these logs to be on the other side where they're gonna be visible, because let's face it, they're an eyesore. They're rotten and just nasty looking. So. Back here, they'll be out of sight, out of mind. So I thought, hey, leave them a little bit longer. Maybe they can be of use. So that's what's going on with those. So I guess that's it for today. We hit all of our objectives. We got rid of the remnants of that old stump. That was such an eyesore, such a pain. That's gone. We got rid of the logs. We might even have a way to reuse them, which is awesome. So I think we have achieved all of our objectives for today on a range build. Whew, all right, well, it's been a long time in the making, everyone, but uh, I think, I think we may finally get this range build done. The last big hurdle is what to do about that sandstone ledge right there. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys know of any cheap ways of busting up that rock, because like I said, I've tried sledgehammer, pickaxe, and you know, it just breaks off little tiny pieces. It's not breaking up that ledge like I need it to. So let me know if you guys got any ideas how to get rid of that. And uh, in the meantime though, I think it's time to bring in some other logs, get this retaining wall built, and uh, I think this thing may be ready to be used, to be used here pretty soon. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, guys, and whew, cannot talk, I'm out of breath because, yeah, I did actually have to move those logs over there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your patience. I know it's been a long time since we've had an update on the range and it was looking like it wasn't gonna happen, but now I think it's finally going to. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. And until next time, show me them firearms. What a way to set up a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!